Moving on to the next session. And the next session is handled by Dr. Mazlan bin Mohammed, Lecturer, Program Material Technology, Faculty of Bioengineering and Technology, University Malaysia, Kelantan. He has completed PhD in Mechanical Engineering from University Malaysia, Perlis. He has nearly 16 years of teaching experience. He has also returned for many publications and varied journals. He has also bagged a lot of awards at different levels. We are delighted to have you among us, sir. The session is yours. Thank you very much uh, for your kind introduction. Okay, uh, my name is Mazlan bin Muhammad. I'm from University of Malaysia, Kelantan. I'm same with Dr. Jaya Rush, the same university, uh, also with Prof. Bala. I will share my slide. Uh, okay, can, can you see my slide, PowerPoint? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, today, I would like to share uh, about write or review paper for high impact journal, especially for LabDOS journal. Okay. Which type of publication usually we need to submit our paper for a review paper that we can get the high impact journal, especially for LabDOS uh, as a viewer. First, research paper we can send in peer review journal, preferably with very high impact journal, impact factor for our special or our category or our field. For example, in my field is in mechanical engineering. So, which journal in mechanical engineering that I should submit for review paper? Second, uh, for review paper or review journal, we can submit in terms of short communication. And third point, review article usually come with highly cited, uh, cited journal compared to other index journal. For example, we submit to Scopus in there, but from that journal, we only can get very low cited compare when we submit to review article or review journal especially in high impact journal q1 or q2 okay next slide come from proceeding often not referred that's mean if we submit to the conference proceeding journal we can get only few citation because in reference proceeding, they did not have a uh, like if we publish in Azivia, a lot of student, researcher, lecturer, academician, they usually download the latest journal in the sign direct. For conference proceeding, only a few researcher that we refer our journal and it will cost that we can get only a few citation for that particular journal. Second point, popular article. Popular article just to promote your activity. Uh, from this popular article, usually we do not get any additional citation. And third point, we can appoint letter to auditor, editor, if want, we want to submit to fuel, energy, journal that have very high impact factor we can send letter to the editor to discuss uh, to discuss and to ask uh, to the editor about our willingness to submit to that particular journal next slide show the impact factor for different type of article i have uh, a few very high impact journal that i publish for review article Usually for review article, the impact factor will increase very high. For example, at 2020, I published one journal under cleaner production, journal cleaner production. At that time, the impact factor only five to six impact factor. But 
after one year until now, 2022, the impact factor will already increase more, almost more than 10 impact factor. So why we need to publish in review article, especially in, in high impact, uh, impact factor journal, because they will increase our citation very quickly. And also at the same time, the impact factor for that journal also will increase. That's why we need to uh, focus on publishing in high impact journal compared to publish to uh, lower impact, especially for the Google Scholar and also for Scopus. Okay, what is a review paper? What is a review paper? A lot of my students ask me, uh, Doctor, why we need to publish in review paper? Compare, uh, publish in uh, scientific article, which is it have uh, the result and also the experimental uh, data that we collect during the experiment. But what, why we need to publish in review review paper or review article? A review paper or review article is a succinct review of a specific topic that provides sufficient and in-depth interpretation and also synthesis of published work. That's me. In review article or review paper, usually they they guide us in our background, in our field, what is the uh, the future, future research that we must follow. So in review paper or review article, we can uh, we can do publish one paper only, but the citation that we can get will become more than hundred and sometimes more than thousand because the current or the latest topic that we uh, do some research or do some review will be followed by thousands of people, thousands of scientists, thousands of academic because the thing that we write is very noble and very current. Uh, so that is what the deep meaning of review article or review paper. Meta analysis for review paper is a method of combining result from several study into a summary conclusion using quantitative strategy intent to answer a focused question. Okay, uh, why a review paper very popular? First, like I said previously, review paper are very popular because they all, uh, they provide intensive review of previous published especially in very high impact journal and put them into perspective second one it offer critical evaluation of the published literature that's why it made review paper are very popular among the academician among the scientists and also um, for um, among the academician uh, lecturer to follow review paper during uh, their research as a main reference. Okay, next, why is review paper very popular? The next point is it creates an understanding of the topic, current topic. Second, identify gap in knowledge. Third, provide a new approach perspective that would stimulate the further research. The current research, what are scientists, what are the lecturer, what are the academic will be doing after 10 years, five years and above. What they will go. For example, in my field, mechanical engineering, right now, we do not go for fossil fuel anymore. We go for hybrid, electric electrical car and that area not many researcher have have doing or being published especially in the review article about hybrid so if some uh, some researcher doing in specific approach about hybrid for example uh, using electric plus the fuel and also makes some modification about the fuel then a lot of researchers will follow the research 
and we can get more cited more citation of, uh, from the article that's why review paper are very popular the bottom line is when we want to publish in review article review journal we must generate our own idea especially in our specialized in our area in our department what is our uh, our target and our topic that we want to go further then review paper is more than annotated bibliography you are not trying to list all the material published but to synthesize and evaluate as it to provide a, a new approach or to st stimulate further research from that our reading we not only can synthesize and evaluate but we must enable to stimulate further research that have not been done previ previously by any other researcher uh, that's why review paper always the number one article that researcher will download they want to see for example if we will download previously about graphene five years uh, before graphene are not well known compared right now in 2020 2022 or uh, the graphene already well known but previous previously 10 years uh, before 20 years before graphene is not very well known but the review paper can make it stimulate further research about new things new area that can be studied can be developed can be further analyzed can be further uh, explored that's why review paper have more citation have more people who like to read compared to scientific or experimental uh, paper what is literature what is a literature literature usually is about collection of all the scholarly writing on a topic on a special topic on on a specific topic it is a systematic method for identifying everything and also interpreting the work that produced by previous researcher scholar academician student postgrad student undergrad student and many others who are doing the same topic uh, based on their own field so before we decide to write a review article or review paper we need to ask the following question do i know my stuff sufficiently if i in mechanical engineering background what in mechanical engineering background the topic that will we sustain we go uh, up to 10 years after this can i uh, continue uh, in doing research about fuel solar renewable energy biomass energy so i must know my stuff quite sufficiently quite deeply so from that i can further improve enhance and also to explore more about my stuff and also to increase uh, more about my topic that i want to do research after five years ten years after this second after we decide which area we want to focus then we need to define or to know which journal we can publish under review article or review journal in isi database or wws journal database they have category under field in my uh, category especially in mechanical engineering for the highest impact factor under review article is under riser uh, renewable sustainable energy review the impact factor for that journal right now almost 15 so for me that journal can be targeted by me 
to publish after I find the suitable topic to submit my journal. First thing first, do through literature search, then consult the journal editor. Ask them, are my topic are suitable for that journal, particular journal? If not, search for another journal. But if the journal are quite relevant and uh, quite similar to your research topic and background, you can submit to that particular journal. Next, write a convincing cover letter and explain to the editor. If we uh, write a convincing and in the quiet manner to the editor, they will comply, they will reply and ask as uh, as us to submit try to submit the article and then they will review from that we can know the article are suitable or not to us okay uh, like i said uh, before uh, in the last slide consultive with the general editor rationally you need why you want to write about the topic so from there, you must consult with the general, uh, general editor. Then, you must explain how would you handle the subject matter and then explain why you are qualified to write on this proposed topic. Estimate length, including number of figure, table, and estimate, estimate date of completion for submission, your article. Then they will consult you and they will help you. If the article that you want to submit to, to that particular journal are under their scope, they will help and they, they will submit, send to the related reviewer. Then we can get some comment regarding to that journal. Next slide. Approach to doing a literature review approach to doing a literature review how to review the literature there are several steps how to review the literature review first step we can read publish article publish work uh, usually i'm download journal from the sandere which is uh, well known established and also well recognized journal article especially for WS and Q1 Q2 to study a wide range of print and web based material from that we we can get several hundred of journal that related to our car topic that we want to do review article or review journal then second process after we download and read and review for many times, then we interpret the, the journal that we download, we read, we must interpret and we can come out to with explanation, the significance of that article, the journal, and then we interpret the evidence that presented in each journal, not only simply listing what other have been written. We need to make, for me, I do to make a table from that i state this author what are the advantage and the limitation of the research advantage we must put at the table not only advantage the limitation of the author also with uh, also we need to clarify so from their limitation it will become our advantage so that the limitation we can put as our advantage in our journal that we want to write in. Okay, the third step, third process, we must be able to synthesize the journal that we read, we collect, and we also we we review to create an integrated world. For example, we read about one hundred anti 300 journal to do one review one comprehensive review especially when we want to submit to q1 or q2 journal 
usually the author need to read 100 up to 300 article for review article review journal so the synthesis we must to able to integrate the whole article 100 to 300 into one comprehensive journal that must add all the evidence argument advantage of previous work limitation and the detail up of each previous uh, article that we read and we refer to our review paper okay next approach to doing a literature review it is impossible to read all researcher ever published in your area for example like i said previously one comprehensive review article for q1 q2 100 to 300 it is impossible for us to read completely truly that span maybe almost one year just to read 100 anti 300 journal so the key is we need to be selective in what uh, the information that you want to read or else you will get drawn into too much information so you cannot know or you did not know what the main key or the main information or main keyword that you need to extract not all the text or the data and also the information from that journal you need you just need only the specific and only or for the uh, specific and also for the key keyword or key important information from that particular journal maybe one paragraph only okay the next slide see the wood for the trees mean meaning in the journal they have a lot of interesting facts data and the result but we must for the review paper we just extract only the essential from that particular journal uh, then the range of literature to explore background material which is broadly relevant to your topic to your background to your research field so in review paper we on, we can only write broadly not specific like experiment scientific writing for example uh in my field i want to publish review article under renewable energy biomass energy so in review paper i cannot be spot to narrow down about the renewable energy in the begin at the beginning maybe in the front page i just need a little introduction and then slowly after the next uh almost the last page uh, then i will go deep down which area under biomass energy that not many research or none of the researcher do at that particular area second literature and research study which address issue that closely related to your topic and then literature which is is directly related to your topic okay next uh, searching and reading strategy okay for compiling in in progress to doing a literature uh, review paper review article we need to find a strategy in reading and also for searching for example maybe uh, we want to find a, spe a specific topic in our field so from that we must quantity of relevant publication so we just can come up with keyword about our review article uh, uh, for me i will would like to go for sandera and i type the keyword that i need and then they will list out the top the article uh, for me to follow and then for the uh, co compared to the 
scientific or experimental research, we must go narrow down for the field specific paper to make sure that the result that we get are 100% same. But review article, if they have some specific that can give us some information about the topic, we can cite that paper. But for the experiment, for the scientific, we must totally 100%. If we do analysis for the car, testing for the impact test for the car, so the data from the journal that we want to cite and we want to follow must be same like the result that we get so our result can be verified but for the review article we can just be less specific and less recent uh, so from that the number of article that we uh, we can cite we become more but uh, along the way we want to write the review paper then we can be more specific. Uh, the the tip are like that. Uh, in the beginning, we can less specific, but in the in the last of our review article, then can, we can be more specific. That is the strategy and the tip that I can share in doing the review article. After this, I will uh, show my paper that I published in review article. Okay, next uh, are the component of literature review. Uh, first, must have background information, introduce topic, describe scope and also an organization, review past and present literature, and then we need to clarify the purpose. Okay, hmm. where do I look for resource for my literature review? Okay, there are a lot of literature source that can we find especially in internet but i'm personally i will would like to go for sunday rank like i told before but beside the liter uh, the sunday rank we also can go for library academic libraries public libraries national libraries museum archive special collection commercial organization commercial database like I said, Scopus, Love OS, and Springer Link. Uh, but for me, uh, personally, I will go for Sandera and I will search there. If the some, a little data that, or some data that I cannot find in the Sandera, then I will go for Scopus or Springer Link. The tool for searching published work and data, uh, they have library catalog, subject index, subject abstract, bibliographies, exploratoria, internet directories, internet search engine, and many more. Next, we can also look out for textbook, article, thesis, thesis under for undergraduate and postgraduate, and also the research have been done by postdoc and then government publication, legal and professional publication, trade literature, conference paper, monograph, and statistic. These are the literature source that can we use as our reference. After we collect the reference for our article in doing the literature uh, review paper, review article, we need to organize the information that we get. There are several software that are available. First, EndNote. Five years before I use EndNote, right, right now I prefer to use Mendeley to summarize, to tabulate, and also for citation for the my student thesis, and also for citation or reference in doing the publication, general article publication. I usually use Mendeley. So uh, no problem. If you suitable to use EndNote, it's okay. If you expert using Mendeley, uh, you can refer to the Mendeley. Okay, next slide. Analyzing and digesting the literature. Okay, analyzing information. 
first must take note taking summarize the key finding or the key word that we summarize into the uh, for example mendeley after we include all the article who uh, in the mendeley then we can summarize by find the key word or key finding from that we can know for this section which article are suitable for me to cite then extracting the critical fact argument examine the evidence and lastly understand the interpretation okay next slide component of literature review first under theory all researcher has a precedence integrate key point and make appropriate interference be aware of relationship to your topics uh, so make sure the theory that you come out from the journal must related to your topic so uh, you must uh, you must make sure download the article that uh, related not on uh, not just because you like the article then you download but in terms of theory that you want to put in your review article review journal it must have some relationship to your topic so you can put in the subsection in your review article then the second point is critical appraisal or syn synthesis not just the list of the work of other that you collect you synthesis you interpret but at the same at the, the same time you need to identify issue highlighted what are the problem what are the limitation of other uh, other researcher facing during their research so the limitation we must grab that limitation from other researcher so from that we can know if we solve that problem or we can continue the research on that particular area that cannot be solved or have not been done by other researcher then our review article or review journal that we want to publish to or to be submitted they will become very valuable hot topic uh, the journal called hot topic because at that particular area that that particular field only us uh, uh, already published the article nobody else so the article will be cited maybe 1000 or uh, maybe 100 minimum up to 1000 from that the article that we publish will become a uh, very hot spot and very uh, very famous in that particular area and last identify the consensus uh, next slide is any critical review should incorporate first a citing of all key study all key study like i said before all key study second a selection and synthesis of the existing argument to form a new perspective new perspective or new information new knowledge okay uh, any critical review should incorporate assessment of strength and weakness of the some theories some uh, research have been done can give advantage like i said before the weakness of other research have been done by other academician other scientists that they be published before the weaknesses of that particular area will become our strength so we need a clear understanding up to the topic that we want to explore that we want to publish if we, we, we did not clear about the topic so we didn't know what are the strength and the weakness what are the new new knowledge uh, the scientists and and the lecturer want to explore at the particular topic so we 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 ourselves must know what are people will be doing 10 years five years after this so 
this thing must be very 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 clear clear understanding about the topic that we want to explore and then uh, length of review paper usually for comprehensive review the number of uh, words are up to 12,000 words and for concise review only express uh, about 5,000 words only uh, that's why I said before for comprehensive review especially for the Q1 top 10 journal they will go up to 12,000 12, 12, words and uh, it will cost about 100 up to 300 citation and reference for concise journal maybe for the Q2 and some Q1 journal they only cost only uh, about 5,000 words and the reference that we, they use on uh, sometimes less than 100 for the reference okay uh, example of the high impact journal review journal that i and my team published from usm and me from umk this is uh, the journal the category under q1 not only q1 but r1 ranking number one in my field this renewable and sustainable energy review impact factor almost 50 14.982 q1 uh, for this article we study about the improving the in cylinder airflow characteristic for sustainable transportation using fuel with higher viscosity a review for this particular journal uh, usually after we publish two or three years the citation will become more than 100 sometimes 200 and 300 i will uh, share to you the database corpus from my team about this particular journal renewable and sustainable energy review the second one last year general cleaner production under my team and also my postdoc from iran for this particular journal we publish about industrial waste heat recovery system for power generation with organic rankine cycle recent challenge and future outlook uh, this paper have impact factor 9.297 under q1 also this paper also increased the impact factor very fast at 2020 the impact factor only seven but in 2021 already reached up until 9.297 i think uh, this year 2022 maybe more than 10 the impact factor of this uh, particular journal journal of cleaner production same also with uh, this journal q2 sustainable energy technologies and assessment that's what i said before in this particular re review journal uh, for high impact journal the impact factor of this particular journal will increase very rapidly uh, this journal also uh, last year uh, not last year 2020 the impact factor only three two point something or three point something but right now from the q3 have been become q2 and the impact factor already increased up to 5.353 maybe this year 2022 maybe this journal will become q1 which impact factor more than seven, I think. Uh, so, uh, what the motivation code that I always follow, whatever is worth doing at all is worth doing well. So if you really, really want to publish in very high impact journal or established journal, uh, so your struggle, that you go through will become worth after you publish that uh, that journal in your particular that you want to publish in Q1 or Q2 journal. Okay, thank you. And then I would like to share the Scopus database that I said before. Uh, this is my data, uh, my friend database, and this is my database Scopus what i said about the re review article journal you can see one journal under renewable and sustainable energy review that citation 
if we can publish in this particular journal, the citation will become more than 300. This paper published in 2017 and the same journal, at the same journal, Renewable and Sustainable Energy Review, 2050. Also the citation more than 200. Uh, he MS transfer because uh, 200 something or so. That's why I said the impactful of a review article, review journal, is very dramatic to increase our citation. Okay, uh, this paper I just, just published this year, so no citation yet. But if you can see, the highest citation for my Scopus database is also come from review journal. General Cleaner Production. Okay, uh, that's all for me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir, for your uh, brief lecture about how to write the review. Participants who have any queries can ask. Uh, Dr. Mazlan. Yeah, Prof. Professor Bala here from University of Malaysia, Kelantan. My yeah, good friend, Dr. Mazlan, and also uh, Dr. Jaya. I think, uh, and also Dr. Ganesan. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Dr. Mazlan, I have a question. You are talking from the science perspective. Yes. I know, I know science people easily to publish because your data are very clear. You know, uh, that's why mostly uh, you guys uh, faster to be professor at a young age. I know I know UMK, there are some of them at 37, uh, 36. But for us, social sciences, uh, we are struggling, you know, because our, our scopus, our ISI is based on the, you know, uh, philosophical of science. Example, uh, like uh, you go to US, uh, they are more, more to positivist uh, movement. Where is you go uh, on the other way around, you go to Europe and something other countries that you go on non prosperous You know, you understand what I mean, huh? Yes. Definitely. It's a philosophical science. If, like, say, I'm not, I say my area, huh? I'm not radical, huh? I'm not Marxist, huh? You know, Marxist, huh? I, I know pro mm. to the employ, employees, then out. I cannot, even though the, the most journal is a top 10, you know? So that's the problem for social sciences. And most of us doing like literature, you know, so I think in this room, there are people, I think, really struggling. What is your simple advice for us to be like you? I know you are the one of the top researcher. I admire you in my university. You are young, but you are super, super. Uh, I always follow you, Dr. Ganesan. Dr. Madras yes. is the man of behind all the ISI is the man. So we are oh, like good, 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 good. Yeah, very young guy, very humble guy. But what is your advice? Just uh, one or two sentence for the, for the people who are non-science. Like people like me and Dr. Ganesan. Okay, Prof. Thank you very much, Prof. Uh, from my uh, experience or from my, I think, for the social science, we can come up with some strategy. For example, we can go for to the ISI database and from that we can see what the specific journal that we can target. Maybe in the database WS, ISI, maybe less compared to the engineering and all the science, sciences, but there are some general, I'm not mistaken, that go for the multidisciplinary. For example, in MDPI and some uh, maybe uh, nature, not nature, they like uh, plus one scientific report. They, uh, they go to the category multidisciplinary. That's mean not only engineering background can publish them, but some for uh, for the social science prof can submit the paper there. That's mean uh, the social science background uh, academician lecturer can get benefit. For example, they publish to the plus one, the the journal under Q two and Q one. Previously, I think Q one, but I know uh, the journal have. Uh, May uh, go to the Q2. But we, if we target to the journal, then the social science people also can publish 
under Q2 journal. I think that the strategy that we can come out from. Go for the multidisciplinary journal, but very have very high impact journal. Okay, uh, okay. Maybe then we can collaborate or uh, engineering, science and social science, come out with one, gen one article, we publish them. Then the output, we can get one paper or some paper that very have very high impact journal, very high impact factor. Uh, I think I, I take this opportunity to share with you all, Dr. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, recently, uh, me and Dr. Mazlan, I brought all the scientists in UMK, especially young school like Dr. Mazlan, Dr. Jaya, and we have one project uh, we call the urban farming. Huh? Am I right, Dr. Mazlan? Yes, urban, yes, urban farming, and that is initiated by me and by the one industry people. And I brought these people to go on the scientific method and also social sciences. We are going to do uh, entrepreneurship commercialization uh, to to in mean, school. We're going to start in urban farming in the school, and uh, that's a policy maker. So we are also targeting to bring this project to the prime minister uh, concern. Uh, we may see him prime minister under Kuala Malaysia because under Rukun Tetangga, we are going to encourage urban farming on the urban urbanization to brought the closeness between the society. So this is what uh, I think I, I I really grateful to Dr. Mazlan. You're going to have a one paper, am I right, Dr. Few papers, Scopus? Yeah. I think yes, Dr. Mazlan will have Scopus. So we ready uh, some paper proof after this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is why mm. I'm advising all these people in this room. Please close close work with the scientists because these scientists they have idea, then we have idea closer. So I think that's what a new innovation I brought to UMK, and soon after uh, we are going to have many papers. We also targeting the best innovators in the Malaysia, Dr. Ganesan. We are trying mm -hmm. on that, and uh, I think I think with this collaboration, we will have more papers. So people in social science, don't worry. You need to find a ways to close work with them. Even even Dr. Ganesan, scientist, you are you are historian. We can brought some of the scientific method, you know, that is three already done, mm -hmm. like Albert Albert Einstein, you know, all the Newton, uh, Isaac Newton, all these three, you know. So probably we can bring that theory and uh, close with Dr. Mazlan. Dr. Mazlan will come out with a new method based on the Albert Einstein or new. Uh, so that's how uh, the historian can join with us. Lah. This is uh, some idea. I think, I think, thank you, Dr. Mazlan. So we will thank come you, back again. Thank and you very much, Prof. Our book, I think one of the things that we initiative uh, by myself and uh, our group, we're going to have a book on science and non-science. So I hope this book, you can purchase this book. The book will publish by UMK. Uh, we brought the methodological from science and non-science, and this is going to be first book in the world, I think, in the world that brought scientists together with the social science. I think Dr. Ganesan, I think you're going to submit a paper or so, eh? So, yeah, yeah, you told me uh, this is some innovation we done in UMK, yeah? So I hope uh, you guys uh, keep on this. Lah. So you always think outside the box, don't think inside the box. You you must be proud of yourself when you're doing research for the society and also for the need. Okay, thank you, Dr. Mazlan. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, bro. Thank you very much, bro. Thank you very uh, much, Dr. Maslan. Yeah, Dr. Maslan. Yeah, Dr. Uh, uh, congratulations uh, for your the publication. Uh, the like El Salvia. Yeah, it's yeah. not easy, as, especially for WOS and so on. Uh, like Prof. Bala said, for social science and um, uh, social science field, arts field is very difficult to publish in, I mean, ISI, especially WOS or in the journal like Q1, Q2. Uh, it's not easy. Uh, uh, science, yes, of I course, I've seen agree. many, like uh, in management field, like Professor Ramia, uh, Prabala in USM, mm. uh, published more than 200 mm. overscopus articles. Uh. So mm. I think what Prabala said is true also, can collaborate. So collaboration is the best way to publish articles in high impact journals, especially uh, because in a team we can publish. Like Prof said, uh, how to integrate historical research with uh, science. Mm. Uh. Oh, it's not easy. <laughs> Yours is mechanical engineering. Doctor, how to integrate history? History, we don't use theory, yeah. We don't use theory. Yes. So how yes. going to integrate? Uh, it's a good idea uh, to look into it, and all participants here also can look into it. How, especially to uh, publish in high impact journal. Uh. That's what uh, this is called all about, and academician all about. Tanya, Tanya, Doctor Mazlan, Tanya. Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank okay. you very much.